Welcome to the beginning of a new era with live under 18s football here on MUTV. Hopper! With two draws and a defeat so far in the final phase of the season, Kieran McKenna's side are looking to kick-start their Merrick Group campaign here in the historical surroundings of the Cliff Training Ground. And the coach has been forced to switch things around a little from the 4-3 defeat in the last league game at Chelsea. There are four changes in personnel in all due to injuries and indeed tiredness picked up on the trip to Dallas for the Dallas Cup. One of those changes comes in goal. Alex Foytice comes in having missed the last four games. Tom Sang partners Tyrell Warren at centre-half in place of the injured Leo Connor. Indy Boone and Angel Gomez are also missing. They're replaced by Nishan Burkhardt and A.D. Barlow, who has six goals in his last four games. Zach Durnley switches from left wing to right wing and Josh Barry moves from centre-forward to the left-hand side of midfield. West Ham have also had a bit of everything at this stage of the season too. Two defeats, a draw and a win in this playoff section. They ended the season with four straight defeats as well, so very much looking for a pick-me-up too. They'll look to their top scorer, Jamal Hector Ingram, who will lead the line for them. He has 13 goals for the season and they'll play with three at the back and wing-backs looking to attack United down the sides. So we're pretty much set to go. West Ham United in their away strip today. Manchester United, of course, in traditional red. And after a trip across the pond to compete in the Dallas Cup, United are back on home soil and have to get their heads back on the domestic campaign, going in search of their first win in the final phase of the season. It's the West Ham United side who experienced a mixed bag of results in the last few months of league football. They certainly have ability to hurt Manchester United, but then... Kieran McKenna's side have been scoring goals for fun this season. We'll look to continue that today. Here's George Tanner seeing that one out. One of those who's been very nearly an ever-present this season. Only missed two matches for the United under-18s. Out it goes for Joe Powell to leave it for the left wing back, Roser Longello. Anthony Scully trying to create a bit of movement for him. There aren't too many in white moving around here. Longello does finally have options. Headed up by Sang. Scully picks it up. Nice little knock for Powell. And a really smart save by Foytichek. Had to get down really quickly to keep that one out. Joe Powell looking to add to his four goals for the campaign. Sat it beautifully for him and it was a really good palm away. Gorgeous day to play football and indeed to watch football as well. Here at the Cliff Training Ground, so much Manchester United history down through the years here. Given away by Whelan. Through it goes, problems here for Manchester United potentially. Lovely play to find Scully, and it's over the top from Hector Ingram. West Ham United would have wanted the chance to have fallen to him. Top scorer with 13 for the season. Number 14 seemed to be beckoning here, but he skied it. Maybe Warren's presence put him off. But whichever angle you look at it from, it's a waste. Whelan started every game for this under-18s team this season. Gets it back here from Sang. He even played at centre-half in the game against Manchester City recently. Tyrell Warren with the armband, one of those who stepped up to be involved with Nicky Butts' reserve side. And here's Tom Sang in today, taking the place of the injured Leo Connor, who picked up a knock in Dallas. It's long looking for Bowie. Good run as well to shrug off the attention of Jake Eggleton. Needs a bit of help here from Burkhart, perhaps, who's waiting for the pullback. Instead, it's Barlow! Of course it's A.D. Barlow. He's the one at the moment who's really got the goal-scoring touch. Seven goals in five games for him now. But all the hard work was done by Josh Barry here. Once the ball bounced, he was always favourite to get to it first. But then he had to drive to the line and pick out a teammate. Barlow made himself free and Manchester United have the lead. 23 goals scored in the last seven games by this United side. 
Make that 24 and 8 now. One of the more simpler finishes for AD Barlow this season. And Manchester United have the lead in the sunshine at the cliff. He's been so used to seeing his side slot the ball into the back of the net this season. It's been terrific to watch going forward. And here they go again. Ball in behind for Durnley. Looking to cause mischief here. The cross was nearly a problem for Tyler Ford. Just skipped up off one of his teammates. West Ham needing to steady the ship a little bit. Sternley working hard to pick the pocket of Anthony Scully. This is Barlow. Slides away from Powell. Trying to get the shot away here. Well, it was a move of real potential. The shot didn't quite live up to the legwork done by United's number 10 here. Slaloming through the challenges. Just couldn't quite lift it enough. Powell trying to clip that it's held up on the surface and it might be an opportunity here for Hector Ingram and once again United are grateful for the intervention of Alex Foytichek Hector Ingram just managing to shake off Sang but the goalkeeper put up a really good fight and it comes from Powell plenty of height in white and also a foul there by Hector Ingram on and Nishan Burkhardt who'd come back to help out defensively. In the last 17 league games now, Manchester United have scored 50 goals at under-18s level. Remarkable stuff. Kenyon. Good charging run. He's done plenty of those this season. Bowie. Almost found Barlow. Nearly nicked it back, but it's West Ham now who will charge forward with Scully. Once again, the pace of Hector Ingram is dangerous for United here. Just got to the ball before Warren. Who's stuck to his task here, though. Good defending to hold up West Ham's main attacking threat. Now defence turns into attack with Durnley. Bowie ahead of him. This is Kenyon. Just looking to loft that over. Bowie lets it go. This is Whelan. Bowie again. Teased it up for Barlow once more. Just didn't quite get his angles right. But that was defence turned into attack in some style. It was a very dangerous Manchester United move. Both of these sides uncharacteristically knocked out at the first hurdle in the Youth Cup this season. They'll both be looking to do better next time around. United losing to Southampton. West Ham actually being knocked out on penalties in the third round after a 2-2 draw with Stoke City. This is Hamilton. Back to Fojicek. Keen to keep United moving from the back to Whelan. That's a lovely ball from Whelan into Burkhart, who's got a real opportunity here and didn't make the most of it. Don't think he connected properly with the shot in the end. But the pass through from Whelan was sublime there. Just totally cut open the West Ham defence. Burkhardt's touch took him a little wide. And it was easy in the end for Tyler Ford to stop it. Barlow with the corner. Plenty in the middle to try and profit from this. Just skips over the head of Bowie. Alfie Lewis trying to slot it away. Tanner gets there before Scully, but it's well won back here by West Ham. Now they can sprint away. Corey Henry to Scully. Looking for Henry again. The offside flag goes up, though. And the shot is wide in the end anyway. I've seen both sides make some really good breakaway runs in this match so far and not make the most of them. Mark Phillips will be disappointed with the way that one turned out for his West Ham United side. Barry. Tanner. Now to Whelan. Barlow. For Hamilton. Trying to slot it in behind there to Durnley. It's a lovely pass. Durnley looking maybe for Burkhardt. Instead, he goes for goal. 
He fooled everyone. They were all expecting the pullback to Burkhart, and Durnley did it on his own. And that gives Manchester United a two-goal cushion. Lovely work from Durnley here. Everyone just assumed the ball was coming back to Burkhardt. Even Burkhardt himself, I think, was disappointed it didn't. And then realised it had rolled in for a 2-0 lead. Durnley in the goals again. His fifth of the campaign, which has been heavily disrupted by injury. Lewis. Scully. Josh Barry back there to help out and make sure that there was no problem for United there. Burkhart was on the scene too. Whelan for Tanner. Goes for a change of pace. Somehow managed to run through Longello. Whelan. Must be said, United looking very comfortable on the ball. Looking very comfortable with this lead, although West Ham have shown that they can be dangerous in this first half. The first half which is brought to an end. Manchester United with, on the face of it, a comfortable lead at half-time. Some lovely play from those in red during the first half. Goals from A.D. Barlow and Zach Durnley. And I've given Kieran McKenna's side every chance of taking home the points today. West Ham, though, have had their lively moments. Alex Foychicek has made a couple of really good saves. At the break, though, United lead by two goals to nil.